From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories. Police continue their investigations into those five weekend murders here in the Capitol. Some of them, they believe, are linked. And according to spokesman ASP, Audley Peters. We are concerned of, about all of these incidents that are occurring. However, we are also encouraged by the information we are receiving from the members of the public. And we are making good headway with respect to previous incidents that occurred. One man has already been taken into custody in connection with one of those incidents. National Security Minister Dems is trying to calm public fears about this. The minister telling the media ahead of yesterday's cabinet meeting that there's no need for persons not to feel safe. He says while overall crime is down and police are doing a good job, the weekend murders prove there's still work to be done. And he says the country's crime problems stem from decades of neglect by Bahamian parents and adults. Police charging five men with murder in court yesterday. One of them, 25-year-old Alonzo Cartwright, he was charged with five murders in three separate incidents dating back to 2018. The other four accused are Dondre Williams, Marqueen Williams, Patrico Ramsey, and Rashad Stubbs, none of them older than 23. The search continues, but so far there's no sign of that man missing following that boating accident off Rose Island over the weekend. Police are still looking into the circumstances. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. The latest coronavirus numbers from the Ministry of Health, 55 cases for Sunday, 13 for Monday, spread over several islands, most of them in the capital. The hospital numbers continue to go up, and that is concerning. 67 persons now being treated for the virus, five in the ICU. No other deaths reported. The total remains at 254. Former Deputy Prime Minister Cynthia Pratt is now back home recovering. Now The ministry continues to look for more vaccine, could be getting some Pfizer through COVAX, by next month, according to health officials. COVID police reporting that five airlines had to be cited over the weekend for allowing persons to come into the country without the required documents. The fine is $2,000 for each airline. Ministry of Foreign Affairs officials have confirmed now that all of our diplomats stationed in Haiti are now home and they are all safe. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area now. Partly sunny and breezy today. Highs in the upper 80s. 88 at Freeport, 87 in the capital, 87 at Matthew Town. Course and flags are rough with us. Winds getting up to 20 knots. The sea's up to 6 feet over open waters. High tide now. The next low around 4 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics to be concerned about right now. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader. 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper, The Tribune, the people's newspaper. Wednesday's World News headlines, an American man is now being held in connection with the assassination of Haiti's president. He is a Florida resident and is being accused of organizing the hit on the president. The situation in Haiti being monitored closely, not clear what happens there next. Problems in Cuba, where the government is now cracking down on anti-government protesters. And in South Africa, where demonstrations have turned violent. 72 persons have died there. Meantime, another warning about the Delta virus spread, which is triggering a resurgence of the virus around the world. South Korea putting new restrictions in place after record-setting numbers reported there. Tripium's gas track of prices, middle of the week, Shell 509, SO 507, Rubus, $5.01 per gallon in the capital.
Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Countdown to the Olympics. The Tribune's profile featuring Samson Colebrook today. High jumper Donald Thomas gets a big win in London ahead of Tokyo. Get the NBA Finals update. Aiden and the Suns ready for Game 4 tonight in Milwaukee. The last word on the Major League Baseball All-Star break and find out which Bahamian got picked in the recent Major League Baseball draft and by which team. Hall of Famer Roscoe Davis has died at the age of 81. A report on him in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.